yeah, what's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it Please none of the talks, I heard enough of it Like, what you gon' do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really about this, don't talk about it Really on the move, on the map, never slip Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it Real eyes, real lies, real lies All the time, stand on it If we said it, we don't walk around it Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips New phone, who this? No, we don't allow it Really on go, I don't know what's an off day Now we on road, came from Yo, what is good, John? Welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. As you guys can tell by the title, the thumbnail, and the fact that I got on gloves, we got another install video on Vader today. I'm super stoked about this because I ain't even gonna lie, I got like one more piece that I'll be missing after this one to complete the dash. And then we just got to do the center console and the interior will pretty much be done. So with that being said, y'all, it's your boy J.I. Make sure you follow me on IG. It pops up right here. Let's go ahead and get straight into this install. All right, y'all. So the first step is actually going to take place in your trunk. What you need to do is disconnect your negative terminal so that the car will not have any power. Because we actually will be messing with the radio and some other parts of the dash. And what we don't want is the airbag going off and smacking us in the face so with that being said grab your 10 millimeter and go ahead and take that negative terminal off like this so it should be off and free like that you know what i'm saying and then we'll go ahead and go to the interior of the car but wait before we get any further into this install we need to have a word real quick from our sponsor today's video is brought to you and sponsored by wild hammer motorsports if you guys want anything for your camaro make sure you guys go tune in with them the link is in the description down below and i got a promo code for you guys ji wild it pops up on the screen right now make sure you use it at checkout to save yourself some money on all your parts you dig what i'm saying but in today's video we got the carbon fiber passenger airbag dashboard cover i think that's how you say that so with that being said it is in this box i have already kind of pre-opened it so that's why i'm not doing an unboxing but the first step is to disconnect the battery the second step is to actually remove this little trim piece right here so what you'll need is a little interior panel popper go ahead and kind of get it in the seams there's two clips one right here and one right there once you get those clips to pop out this piece literally comes out and it exposes these buttons and then it exposes the two seven millimeter bolts that hold the radio in place once you get that done then you can drop it back and I'm gonna go ahead and do all of that. That's why I just gave you guys the down real quick. We'll go ahead and do all of that and then I'll get to you guys when it's time to do the next step. All right, y'all, so as y'all can see, I got that panel off. It's right here. These are the two clips I was telling y'all about. These are the two seven millimeter bolts I was telling y'all about. Be careful not to lose those bolts because it's literally these two bolts and it's two hooks that are behind the radio up top that hold the radio in place. So if you lose one, I ain't gonna lie, you might have a little bit of a rattle or a squeak because the radio not gonna sit flush. But now that you can do that, all you have to do is simply pull up on the radio. What I'm gonna end up doing is putting a towel right here on the shifter so that it doesn't scratch the screen and I'll lay the screen on the shifter itself. That way it's out of the way and I don't have to disconnect any of the harnesses or anything like that. All right, y'all, so we got the rag kind of covering the middle part of the shifter and the radio is kind of just resting on it now literally the only bolt that we need to touch is this bolt right here that's kind of behind this leather all you have to do is simply i think it's a seven mil yep. undo that bolt make sure it doesn't fall undo that bolt and then once you undo that bolt this panel is literally just held in by some clips so you can use your panel proper and kind of just work out this whole panel and it should just come out including the air vent like there's nothing to disconnect or anything like that just like that y'all the entire panel is out along with the vent now to get the vent out there's just four clips you just have to push them in and kind of just work your way around make sure you don't break any of the clips it's kind of hard to do this with one hand but you're just gonna work your way around. Oh, it's these clips right here. Once you get these clips to undo, the whole vent will just fall out of place and then you can put it in the new one. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this piece out the box. 
super stoked about this one. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. This is probably, no, nah, it's not, never mind. I was gonna say, well, for the interior, this is the biggest piece of carbon I've ever bought for an interior of a car. So literally the installation of this vent itself, it just literally pops right in place. Literally just pops into place. And then the panel itself just pops back in. Such a simple install. Just be careful not to break any of the clips. Kind of just wanna. Just press it in place. Oh my God. Jeez, dude, insane. And then that seven millimeter bolt that I told you guys not to lose just goes right back where it was. Sheesh. And just like that, boys, you're back online, man. All you gotta do is connect your battery and it's completely done. You done swapped out your passenger panel. You can either do the suede option that they come with on the ZL1s or you can do the carbon fiber like I did. Or if you have like the base model and so you got like hard plastic or whatever, you could do the leather that, you know what I'm saying, mine came with if you want to. It's literally easy. Um, just a word of advice to get those seven millimeter bolts in, grab yourself a magnet, get the bolt started, then use an extension to go ahead and tighten them down because if you don't the bolts are just gonna move around and they're not gonna want to go through that seven millimeter that's right there is super easy it just it feeds right back in but since this one right here had these two right here have like kind of like a curve it's hard to keep that bolt from you know what I'm saying falling back so literally this is the install man and I am loving it so yeah y'all this is the complete product carbon almost everywhere doors steering wheel start stop button so i'm gonna be covering the radio just got this piece done gotta get the vents and i think they make something for this right here too so we're gonna have to get that this and then the whole we got a whole bunch of stuff coming man just y'all stay tuned i'm super stoked about this y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section down below but without further ado, man, if you're new to the channel, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you haven't already, go tap in with me on Instagram because it's jumping right now. My boy Alex been going crazy with the pics and the edits. Literally everything that comes to my head, this dude deadass makes happen. Um, when it comes to photo shooting or making videos or whatever the case may be, my boy been going crazy. So make sure you guys go tap in with his IG as well. One of the best upcoming photographers in the H on me. You can quote me if you want to. I don't care. But with that being said, y'all, it's going to wrap it up for today. Hit this like button down below. Drop a comment. Let me know what you guys think about the carbon. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.